This, this, this is a Tape Deck Podcast. Hello, and welcome back to Inside the Runner Studio. This is your host, Tom, and with me as always are Aaron, Michael, and Diana. Hello. <laughs> you did start really Hello. aggressive oh again. God. Wow. <laughs> And we are joined by our friend Meredith. Hi, Meredith. Hi, Tom. He just stared at us all weirdly. I don't understand what happened. It's fine. How how are you? I'm doing well. I have to tell you, I'm like fangirling a little bit here um, because I've listened to you guys since I think you started the podcast and I've met Aaron and Michael. But Diana and Tom, I haven't met you guys before, so I'm really happy to be here. Oh, Tom, you especially. Oh, I know. Tom's got a fan club. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm I'm definitely leading the charge here. (laughs) Look, I'm going to do my best to not um, let you down, but I would uh, I would maybe scale back your expectations on this interaction. (laughs) So, just fair enough. uh, Just because you know, I'm a I'm a I'm just a guy. You know, I'm not (laughs) I'm approachable. You no. could see his you know, face I don't want to. I don't make this into something. It's 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 bigger than you know. Oh my! And this is all about you. Price. This is all this about is you. The price of fame, Tom. This is the price of fame. Oh, yeah. yeah. I true. mean, I'm gonna just try to hold it together over here. Well, I appreciate I appreciate your um uh your your effort in in not uh <laughs> not losing your cool, if you will. <laughs> I'll so, you, so Meredith, you know the drill. We're going to ask you some running related questions, some non running related questions, and get to know you. But before we do, do you want to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself? Absolutely. So, my name is Meredith. I'm also known as Guda Doot on all social media platforms. Um, I'm a mom of two humans two dogs and i i have a husband and i kind of mom him too Mm -hmm. so you know it gets around um and yeah i've i've been a part of the running community for a long time since 2011 so i've been doing this for a while and i love it and i've kind of picked up things along the way so always a good time love it and how um like how have you met aaron and michael and not us like what race was it at like where were where were they where we were not <laughs> she well, was part of team shenanigans oh. i was way back in the day um but i was like kind of a silent member oh uh, yeah me too i just kind of showed up yeah. this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um but okay so here's the thing i thought you guys were gonna be at um first date 10k Oh, okay. I think you guys had oh. talked about that you were going to be there, and I was like, "Awesome! I'll get to meet Diana and Tom." And then you weren't there. I so. have no idea what that is. So that's the <laughs> one. That's the one where where they were trying to convince Diana to run a ten k in the sand on the beach. Oh yeah, that's that no, wasn't no, going to no, happen. No, no, that was, no, uh, no, 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 no. This was, uh, this was another Vanessa race, though. But this was the one in Delaware. Okay, They're both in Delaware. This oh was yeah, the one not on the beach. This was the one <laughs> not on the beach in the woods. It was the one through like the woods. It was yeah, yeah. a fifteen k. I did the fifteen k. It was this year. Um, I wonder if we like had another May. race that weekend. My, my I think so. It was really hot out. I know that. Yeah, it was because when... Aaron was drinking the drinks. Yeah, I was. Oh, she gotcha. Was. Were we doing was. the taco was... mile? We might have been doing the taco mile. Ooh, that's very oh, maybe possible. that was the weekend yeah, that it was possible. so hot that and you went up the that golf. Um, thing frisbee the golf. frisbee golf, yeah. and then I got to the top, and there was a giant cooler, and it had alcohol in it, and I just like started drinking. Well, that's what you do yeah. when you're dehydrated. I remember. I remember that's yeah. what... <laughs> Legit, it's basically water. <laughs> now, uh... now, Scooter Dude, where's that from? What is that? Okay, so here's the deal: when my kids were young, I would, well, now, you know, I kind of curse in front of them because they're 17 and uh, 13 and like, they hear the words. Yeah. Yeah. But when they were little and I'd be like, get a move on, I was trying to think of a cute little way to say that. So scootadoot just kind of came out and yeah. that just means move it. So when I was c- trying to come up with like a cute, catchy, like I didn't want to do um, something like run, wine, Disney, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Nothing wrong with those names. Just like I wanted something that would stand out a little bit more yeah. for a blog. 
and this was back in the blog days when people were blogging. I <laughs> love it. You know, so, I actually used to read your blog. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it was back then and I was doing this with a couple of friends and we said, we need something catchy and quick. And so that was where Scooter Duke came from. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. So I love cute. a good, yeah, I love a good origin story. <laughs> yes, me too. Awesome. All right. Well, should we jump into our actual questions oh, now yeah. that I've derailed us a little bit as per usual? All right. So I get to kick us off with our running related questions. And our first one is, is there a place you'd most like to run in the world? Or do you have like a bucket list race that's on your list? Okay. So when I first started running, I, the only things I did were bucket list, uh, bucket list races because I <laughs> felt like that was the only thing that would motivate me to actually run. So I did all the run Disney races. Like I back to like Disneyland, mm -hmm. like when those were still going on, yep. you know, and um, I did a lot of vacation races. So I went out uh, to the Rocky Mountains and did <gasps> uh, the Rocky Mountain half and I did the Shenandoah half marathon. And so, like, any any chance I had to go and do these races, like, in other places <laughs> and get, like, a runcation out of it, yes, I was yeah. all about it. So when COVID hit and I couldn't do anything, I was like, well, I guess I'm running on my treadmill. And it was, like, such a bummer. So now I'm super excited because during COVID, I was supposed to run um, the, sh uh, the uh, Shamrock Half. Mm. Oh. And... I never got to run it in person. I did that at home on a treadmill. And so I just, I registered for next year. So I'm really excited because oh. that's coming up. And I, I've always heard such wonderful things about that race. I mean, you guys say it, everybody <laughs> in my running club says it. So I'm it's just like, best. I cannot wait. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. I mean, obviously, if you've listened to this podcast in the beginning, you'll know how much Tom loves it. Oh, yeah. He loves it. Well, he was even, because I said, because uh, I'm not driving it this year. So I was, we were just talking about it a couple weeks ago. And he's like, well, but like, could I still do it? And I said, yes, but I'm, I'm not going. I just want to make, <laughs> it's not the race that bothers me. It's, it's the traveling guy. to the I race. Agree. It's true. <laughs> oh, really? Should I be concerned? Yeah. No, it's no, just like no. One of those, we've done it so often, yeah. and it's just like a long yeah, drive. It's a slog. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's especially if you being from like kind of right around where we are. Um, right. It's just like that long drive down the like Maryland dark roads, especially on a Friday night after work. Yeah. It's just like it's a lot. Never ending. No. Fair yeah. enough. Fair yeah. enough. I think I'm going to drive down on Saturday. Mm, okay. Smart. So hopefully that's not a mistake. No, I think it is a, it is a super fun race. It's yeah. yeah it's I mean, like it, the most it's fun. One, it's one of the greatest races. Yeah. yeah. It is yeah, the yeah. most fun. You'll have a well blast. Worked. Yeah. Okay, after so party... I should look for Tom there. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I have not committed to anything <laughs> at this point. Oh God. So funny. Uh, all right. What are your ideal running conditions? Today. Today was perfect. So this morning I woke up and I did a ride on the Peloton because I am a Peloton lover, just as you guys are. Oh, yeah. Um, and then my friend had invited me to do um, five miles on a trail nearby. And it was 40 degrees and I had like a long sleeve on with a nice little jacket that I could open or close or whatever. And... Um, you know, like I had a headband on to keep some warmth in, but it was not, it wasn't too hot. Mm. It wasn't too cold. It was perfect. And like, these are the conditions that I thrive in. Yeah. I actually thought that to myself today because there was also no wind. Yes. It was like yeah, it was, that perfect, yeah. like 40 degree, no wind day. Love it. 40 is perfect. slightly too cold for me. Just slightly. <laughs> <laughs> it warms up. You warm up. Yeah, you do you're, warm up. Yeah, you do warm up. Warm, yeah. <laughs> What is your favorite thing to have to see or have at an aid station? Oh my gosh. Okay. So I had never done trail running before and you guys always huh. talked about like the amazing, <laughs> the amazing like spreads that they have and they really do. They have such good stuff. <laughs> and I was all about like eating pick. I don't know. I was eating pickles and then I was eating Oreos. So yeah. like the savory and oh, then like wow. the sweet. I was yeah. like, yeah, this, this works for me. And <laughs> I try really hard not to have um, a lot of sweets because my body just doesn't process the sugars yeah. very well. And so when I get that opportunity, <laughs> mm. yeah. I definitely go to town. 
All right, Meredith. I don't want to get too personal. And I hope I hope this isn't offensive, but what are your go to running shoes? Oh. Well, okay, gosh. Yeah. Let me pull myself together here. Um, <laughs> I run in Brooks Ghosts. I yep. have for years. Same and girl, I've same been happy with them. <laughs> so they better not change. <laughs> mm, I love a ghost. I've been wearing ghosts for the last five years of my life. Oh. Yeah, me too. Me too. Is that the shoe you started with or did you no. change along the way? I changed. Okay. I started in Mizuno's oh, uh, okay. way back in the day. And you don't really hear too much about Mizuno no. anymore. I don't know. No, you used to a lot. Yeah, they were yeah. huge. They yeah. were huge for a yeah. while. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, but I went from the Mizuno to the Brooks and I've just tried and true. You know, what works, you stay with it. Yeah. Yep. Now, follow on question. If you bought a brand new sh- pair of shoes today... Would you wear them in a race tomorrow? I would. Because Michael would. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Shoes are made to be worn immediately. I would. I would. Yeah. Um, this is unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shoes are meant to be worn. <laughs> He's not wrong. Like, why do you buy um, shoes? To so wear them. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Michael added, we decided Michael added all the, the new questions because that actually was one of the questions he added um, to confirm all of his uh, his beliefs. Yeah. Oh, oh I see. Decided. Yeah, that's <laughs> what we decided. It's really just affirmations. For me, yeah. You know, <laughs> all right. Uh, so that last one was Tom. So next one is me. Oh, this is an interesting question. And this is also, I think, a Michael wanted to know everyone's thoughts on this as well. If you had to run a race that was all uphill, or all downhill, which would you choose? Well, <laughs> I, it would be downhill. Yeah. Um, I'd probably hurt the next day, but I would hurt the next day anyway, and at least I wouldn't be suffering while I was doing it. Yep. <laughs> I was going to say, those that's quads, fair. man, that's those quads. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> all right. We are going to move into the random questions. Uh, what song would be played on a loop in heaven and in hell? Oh gosh. Um, in hell, it would be Mbop. How dare you? <laughs> All right. Cut, cut the feed. Cut it. Cut the feed. <laughs> oh man. And in it. heaven, it. <laughs> it would, in heaven, it would be only in dreams by Weezer. Oh God, that's oh. a great answer. I love that song. Yep. It's such a good song. It has everything in it. I feel like and, maybe and, and nobody Meredith knows is trying it. to come between Tom and Diana I here. What no, is happening? I would never. That's the last song on the Blue album. It sure is. And it's such a good song to end on. God, what a good answer. <laughs> You're now, really, Tom. Now when I, was the last time you thought about that, Are you fangirling me? Now I'm yeah. fangirling. So yes. I saw Tenacious D open up for Weezer in Baltimore and they played only in dreams. And when they did it, they like, it, there's a long um, intro, like musical intro. And they slowly rolled out all the smoke that kind of just fed out into the crowd. And it was one of the coolest concert experiences I've ever had. And that stuck with me. And that probably 20 years ago. I was like, what, you, what yeah. year was that? I don't know, 90s-ish? So like I wasn't even born yet. Diana wasn't even born yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. She was, what, what 2000, I think? Is... I'm just 2000. It just She's keeps a 2000 getting... baby. It keeps just around there somewhere. Just wow, keeps wow. <laughs> just but that is Thomas a really great robbing answer. that cradle. <laughs> and I appreciate Thank you. it. I appreciate <gasps> you, Tom. All right, so who is your favorite Disney character, live action or animated? Gosh, that's really hard to answer. Um, I love the three caballeros. Mm. Ooh, that's, that's a great answer. Okay. I like that one. I love that ride. I could go on it. Yeah. Like, if they just let me sit on that ride just and just go like around. go around in a go circle. Around. And if yeah. I had a margarita in my hands, even better. That would be. They should yeah. let you bring one. I yeah. agree. Yeah. They should have an after hours event where you can do that. Ooh, that would be, I would totally be about that. Yeah. yeah, you know how many drunk people would hurt themselves falling in and out of that boat? Mm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, that's funny. Um. Okay. So, what is the worst food you have ever eaten? Mm. 
Oh, goodness. I It's so funny because like I was not an adventurous eater when I was younger. Now I feel like everything I try is like, all right, you know, pretty good. I can't think of anything that like not off the top of my head that I'd really say was not something I, you know, mm-hmm. like there are things that I like mm-hmm. more than others, obviously, but um, I don't know. What would you guys say? Because now I'm curious. The worst That's candy t- is Peeps. Look. Oh, I, so yeah. Like, I don't like Peeps. Let's just put put this on the back burner okay. about the Peeps conversation. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like them because I also like them stale, which he's like, it oh. shouldn't get better when they're stale. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair question. What is the worst food I've ever eaten? I've definitely, I've probably had There's food I don't terrible. like. Yeah. For me, it's like a texture, like anything like fatty. I just yeah. want to. Oh, I thought of something. I Ooh. don't like pork chops and I don't like pork. Like, yeah, I like bacon. Fair. What? But I don't like pork. Really? Yeah. No, just not my thing. I don't thing. like pork chops. Yeah. yeah. I love pork. I don't know. I love all. I mean, I, 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 I love all food. <laughs> I do too. Mostly. That's probably not true. <laughs> That's probably not true. <laughs> but not true. I'm I probably baby. think of something that I don't like. Like I don't like olives. There you go. I hate. I hate olives. If olives are on my pl- or like anywhere in the vicinity and I can smell them, I like. I don't like it. And then if it's if it gets placed on my salad and then like you take it off, I can still tell that the olive was there. Oh, just a- well, I'll take your olives for you because I like them, but <laughs> you always need to have a friend that likes olives. Hey, <laughs> you gotta have one pickles. person. Like, it, like <laughs> exactly. I'm a pickle lover and I've got a couple friends that don't like pickles and I always get excited because then I get their pickles. <laughs> oh, yeah. you know what the worst food I've ever eaten is? Is those pickles and those hot pickles in the bag, the single pickle, like in a bag. Oh, they are that terrible. They sell at like convenience stores. They're like the most disgusting things ever. Mm. Why are you buying so, that? There you go. There you go. Now <laughs> well, you've gotten all of our answers. I, I think I bought it once at work uh, when we used to have a store yeah. at work. I don't know. Because sometimes like a pickle awful. looks so good. And then when it's bad, <laughs> yeah. it's so disappointing. It was like, how yeah, bad I don't could like, this be? Also, and I don't really like bread bad. and butter pickles oh, yeah, either. Those are like, I oh, I don't like bread and butter. I don't like bread They're not really pickles. They don't count. They don't count. I agree. Did you know that I was like in my mid thirties before I realized that pickles are just pickled cucumbers? <laughs> I had no idea, like literally no idea. Uh, that was two separate. I think vegetables? I told him that. Like, I think... <laughs> that actually does not surprise me that Diana no. would be the one to tell you that either, because like, <laughs> oh my god, we won't go to the next thing I was going to say. Okay. Tree. Um <laughs> Oh god. All right. I think I'm next. Let's pull this together. To get back back on um on the actual questions. Um although you you already kind of talked about this a little bit. Um if you could go on a dream vacation, where and what would it be? So, not necessarily a rencation, but just a vacation. Oh, okay. So, um I've been to a lot of cool places. And I went to Switzerland a couple years ago with my husband. He mm-hmm. has one of his um, his company's locations is in, they have a location in Switzerland and in Germany. So we went to visit um, both those countries. You know, it wasn't wasn't work related. It was just for enjoyment. And ever since then, I really would like to go back and bring my kids. Mm, yeah, because mm. they didn't get an opportunity. They were too young, you know. So. Yeah. Um, they didn't get an opportunity to experience it. And I think now they'd really appreciate it. And they keep asking, when are we going? Yeah. <laughs> and the answer is uh, not anytime soon. Yeah. Well, wait till yeah. 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 they're 18, because yeah. then they can have a beer in Germany, right? Oh, yeah. Or is it 16? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Just mm. say you're going to wait till they can have a beer there. <laughs> yeah, both of them have to be 18. So my yeah. older son will uh, just be a little bit older. Yeah, I can't then. remember. <laughs> it's either 16 or 18. Because I remember when I studied abroad, it like there looked it looked like there were children in the bar, and I was <laughs> hey, yeah. I was twenty twenty one, and they looked like and children. You think these to me. people are looking like, like children, yes. right? <laughs> oh my god! So that was like what last year? Yeah, it was like two that years ago. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very recently. It wasn't like two thousand seven. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, do you prefer a fancy dinner out? 
or a hole in the wall great with great local food? Uh, probably a hole in the wall. I like local eating and I like, I don't like, um, you know, like keeping up with the Joneses type of thing. Like I don't like having to worry about what other people are doing or thinking. And honestly, at this stage of my life, I don't anyway. Yeah, <laughs> so true. it's nice it's to true. just like go to like a hangout and, you know, meet up with friends or, or just my husband or whatever. And it just be really like chill. Do you have a, being local to me, do you have a favorite hole in the wall type place? Well, it's not really a hole in the wall, but I love Bonesaw Brewery. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's right around the corner from our house. Yeah. And um, it's it's pretty comfy and they make it so that, you know, you have like smaller sections to sit on couches or at a table or whatever. So I feel like it can feel small, even though it's a bigger room. All right. Now we head into the... Uh... James Lipton Memorial questions. James, knock three times if you're in the room. <laughs> what? Uh, what if he was? <laughs> he might be in your house. We don't know. It's possible. <laughs> Hope I do you justice. Uh, what is your favorite word? Bedtime. Oh, yes. Good, yeah. yeah, I like that. <laughs> like, you guys are creeping up on my bedtime here. <laughs> we're creeping up on our own bedtime yeah, i wish yeah. it was mine uh and what is your least favorite word um spicy hmm. really yeah huh. i don't I like when um when i'm on the peloton and they're like this is gonna be a spicy one i'm like oh god uh, yeah, yeah how you yeah 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 okay. i get so you like when yeah. it's not used in the correct way too yeah. or it's right. like yeah. gonna be yeah. like it's not spicy food it's like the way no. that you say like things are spicy yeah yeah i just it's okay. not my thing <laughs> get that yeah this is gonna be spicy this right, is gonna Meredith. be spicy <laughs> it's all all roads lead to this one <laughs> What uh, what turns you on? Kindness. Yeah. 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 What? I definitely think kindness would be my number one answer. It's what um, drew me to my husband originally. And it's what I look for in people when I'm interacting with them or, you know, um, meeting somebody for the first time. I'm not looking to hang out with people that are not kind people. It's just not my thing anymore. That's fair. Amen. Yeah. What turns you off? So to kind of go off of that, I hate self-centered people. It's really hard for me to communicate with people that are just like so singularly focused on themselves. So I would say that. Makes sense. Good answer. Sense. Yeah. Yeah. What sound or noise do you love? Okay. <laughs> so like when my dogs are sleeping and they let it, let out this like cute little sigh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's the yeah. best. I think it's so sweet. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, they like, like they cuddle, they cuddle on top of me sometimes. Like they make a little it. pile <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and they're just content. And I'm like, oh, they're content. I'm content. So that noise. Yep. Yeah. Tom always says that Archie does this like low, shallow breathing and it's like his favorite thing. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. just the ultimate like re relax noise <laughs> because yeah. he, he knows he knows he's safe he knows he's loved and he has not a care in the world yep yeah and i exactly. wish i could relax like that <laughs> mm -hmm. i swear yeah. mm -hmm. i agree and then the opposite of that what sound or noise do you hate okay so going off the same question and the same answer like my dogs when they're barking at people outside of my house oh, okay. um my mm -hmm. my older dog has like a low but loud bark and then my younger dog has this shrill piercing bark and just mash them together and it's and it's oh every God. day every day oh God. <laughs> and oh you're just God. like shut up yeah i mean we, we all just like scream shut up <laughs> oh man and they just look at yeah. you like what? And I don't understand. Right. And when we have the windows open, I swear my neighbors must think I'm crazy because I'm like yelling at the dogs, like, "Oh my gosh, it's just <laughs> Rosie walking with her mom." Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. All right. So, what is your favorite curse word? Um, should I say it? Like, sure. Say uh, it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> we just love to make Michael do more work. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> See, it's fine when you guys do it, but when we, anytime Diana and I curse, yeah, we get yeah. the biggest eye roll, yes. and then he'll yes. randomly yes. drop the 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 f bomb, and we're like, what the fuck? like, why are you allowed See? to? Well, yeah. he seems very relaxed right now. Michael does not seem to be caring at all. That's because so. you're. That's because you're on the call. We have a guest. We're all oh, okay. <laughs> I just we're got. A... I just got a little side eye when I just dropped yeah. it. Yeah, we saw it. <laughs> We're gonna get a stern talking to when you're off the phone. Okay, I'm so, well, Aaron, let's let's plan to say it together next. Uh, <laughs> one, two, three. Love it. <laughs> All right, M- Michael, I appreciate you. <laughs> You'll get a good edit, Tom. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> uh, what profession other than your own would you like to attempt? Okay, so I'm a homemaker, so I have a pretty. I have a pretty sweet gig. Yeah. I, you know, I'm home with my kids and I'm here for them when they get off of the bus. Well, you know, my older son is driving them now, but oh, I'm here <laughs> and um, I make them brownies. And I do all the things that like, you know, those like quintessential people in the TV shows do like, and you're like, oh my God, nobody does that. I actually really do do that. <laughs> um, but I don't like clean my house very well and stuff like that. I mean, I can, I can admit my faults. But if I were to take on a job, I feel like I would be a great Peloton instructor. Love it. Mm. They probably need more of those, right? They don't have enough. <laughs> they don't. I agree. <laughs> yeah. Who's your That's favorite good. Peloton instructor? Oh, gosh. Um, so I like different people for def- different things. Mm. Um, I got to ride in studio with Hannah uh, Corbin. That's and cool. that was really cool. Um, but... You know, it's so funny because, like, I would say at the beginning, I tended to gravitate towards Cody because everybody was like, Cody, Cody, Cody. And now I like, like, Jen Sherman because I feel mm. like Jen Sherman would be my She's so bestie chill. if we were hanging out together. Um, I, I just, I have a lot of them. And I love the Power Zone pack. Like, I love Ooh, that whole I love. I have been loving the Power Zone uh, rides. Yeah. They're really good. Are you going to do the challenge? Um, well, I'm doing the discover your power zones program right now. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like getting into it, but I like how focused they are. They're m- like a much more focused workout. Yeah. And so I think I, they're like training, like yeah. run training. Yeah. I love them, especially because of like the endurance base, mm. just being in the lower zone and just riding easy pretty much through the whole thing. And then tonight I did like a zone three, four and five workout. So it's just like, it's very focused. Yeah. I love it. Cool. I'm also on Peloton. I haven't ridden yet, though. Yes. Um, he just he just made his profile and got his shoes this past week. Yeah. All right. So yeah. we could do a ride together. Um, Aaron and I got to do one together, and it was yeah. was it in German? Oh no, it wasn't the German one. No, it wasn't in German, but it was. It was really fun, though. I really we want to go back and do um a few. My friend uh, Melissa and I, who've been riding together, we're like we really liked him. Yeah, Tom um, he's really enjoyable. Did a German ride once. Or, so you did oh, really? Totally in German. I was once. trying well, to was do it? the. I was trying to do the Taylor Swift challenge, <laughs> and so I had to do. I did like a ten minute strength training with an all German, so I could just listen. <laughs> oh God! I had to get my badge. What do you want from me, Michael? Yeah, it's true. I mean, those badges are like they're serious. It's true. <laughs> oh man! Uh, so, uh, what profession would you not like to attempt? Okay, so I said I wanted to be a Peloton instructor, but I don't think I would want to be a teacher. Um, <laughs> no. yeah, that's fair. For children. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. and not because of the children, but because parents are crazy. They're crazy. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Fair. Like, I know this because I'm a parent and I see other crazy parents, and I'm like, oof, I would not want to deal with that every day. So that's why, because I like kids. Makes sense. Yeah. I agree. I, I can agree with that sentiment. All right, Meredith. I get the privilege of asking you our final question, but before I do, thank you very much for being on with us. I hope we lived up to your expectations. (laughs) And then some. (laughs) So, Meredith, if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? What's up? Okay. (laughs) Is there anyone Uh... you'd like to give a shout out to? Any plugs, your social media, anything like that? 
Sure. So I've been a BibRave pro, which is like with the BibRave community for a very long time, and they've always been really good to me. So mm-hmm. I love to give them a shout out. And um, yeah, I think <laughs> I think that'll do it. I don't, you know, I'll hi to my kids. Maybe they'll listen to this. I doubt it, though. <laughs> right? Well, I told I told my son that I was going to be on um, a podcast, and he was like, "Oh, are you going to use your low sexy voice <laughs> for a podcast?" I'm like, "I don't think I have one of those." <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's like funny. Serial lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so god. funny. Yeah. All right. Well, I well. I don't know how to end these, so <laughs> we'll just say thank you. Uh, thank you Thanks for being for having an, me. Thank you for being an actual early adopter. You've been around <laughs> since the beginning. I've loved it. I've loved every single. I love listening to you guys. It's really an enjoyable Aww. experience, and I'm so glad that I finally got to be on this. I'm like so honored. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're so happy to have you. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I'll you know try and i don't know if i can do one of vanessa's races but we'll see <laughs> that'd be really cool <laughs> yep awesome thanks all right well, thank we, you we will talk to you bye. Later. bye bye, bye.